Hello and welcome to our video. This is our BMW 440i Grand Coupe. This car's covered just 20,332 miles. It's a one owner vehicle. It was registered on the 23rd of the 3rd, 2017. So there's no additional um, VED tax. That's the tax that you pay when a car's over 40,000 pounds. So it's just the road tax to pay on this car, which is a, a good plus. The car's finished in mineral gray metallic. The whole car's been detailed, machine polished. The guys have gone around the car, spent a whole day, two people on one car, making sure it comes up really beautifully. If we start at the front, we've put some lovely black gloss grills in the front there. We've got front and rear parking sensors. I'm just gonna bring you in close and show you the paintwork. There's some, there's the odd tiny Somewhere there's a tiny little chip, but I can't find one. You'll see the bonnet is in beautiful condition. I'll just come down low around here. There's a little, I know it's a little bit of water. So I'll try and point out anything on the bodywork if I see something. We've got the 704M alloy wheels, all in lovely condition with Bridgestone one flat tires. We've got the M Sport brakes. The body moldings finished in black gloss to, mit, uh, to match basically the grills and the trims around the car. We've got sun protection glass. Just bring you around to the rear. Let me just bring you in and show you that beautiful shine. And if I bring you up onto the top panels, just take you around like so you'll see that there's no little scratches. When people wash their cars, you know, with the sponges and so forth, you get little hairline scratches. And what Dan particularly likes to do is machine polish all of those out with a rotary mop, and then he'll finish everything with an orbiting mop, including these black gloss finishes on the side, look, to bring them up as close to new as you can, basically. So we'll come round to the rear. It's got the LED lights at the rear as well. All of the exhaust tips have been polished as well. The rear camera in the back there. If I just bring you in close again, you'll see there's no, there's no scratches there at all. Nothing up here, nothing on the corners. Again, the rear wheel lovely condition as are the badges in the center because they tend to sort of bubble up around the edges. Let's bring you in close again. I'll pan out in a second. Again, those black gloss finishes on the side. Bring you up onto the roof. You'll see no bird dropping stains in the paintwork, all of the wing mirrors, etc. All of the trims at the bottom. To show you this front wheel. The front tires have got lots of meat on them about six and a half mil maybe a bit more and the rears are on about four mil obviously 1.6 is the legal limit so plenty of life left on the car now before i jump in i'm just going to come in we've got heads up there's a nice lot of spec on this car so we've got heads up display which i'll try and show you when we get into the car we've got harman Kardon m sport braking now this car's also got the adaptive M Sport suspension, which allows you to soften the ride or stiffen the ride with the press of the Eco Sport and Comfort button. We've got adaptive headlights at the front. The Xenon headlights that is. Um, we've got folding electric mirrors. We've also got Apple CarPlay, speed limit display, split rear folding seats, extended storage, sliding armrest, and the brushed aluminium trim. So we'll take a look in the car. There you can see your Harman Kardon. You get additional speakers as well. So you'll get additional speakers up on the top there. You've got the black gloss finisher along the top of the door. You've got the brushed aluminium door handle, which is a lot harder wearing, as I've mentioned before. The door card's in exceptional condition, no dig marks. You'll see all of the edge of the door as well. 
bring you into the seal. We've got electric seats with uh, electric bolster. All of the black Dakota leather in lovely condition. The brushed aluminium is also around the centre here where you've got your iDrive wheel that you can write on. You've got your heated seats, um, the professional media there as well with your dual climate control. Take a look in the rear of the car. Again, you've got the Harman Kardon speakers. And then for much uh, a more depth in the sound system. And again, the door card. Just look how well they detailed the car. All of the rubbers, all of the trim. Bring it in. In the video, you will always see creases in the leather. That's because leather stretches a little bit. And it, so it shows what we call the highs and the lows in the video where the light catches it from outside the car. But all lovely in there and, and the back of the seats aren't scuffed either. Okay, so let's pop the boot. So we can do this either with the key or pressing the handle. It's electric boot. Let's start up here. Being really fussy. Tiny little scuff there, very, very minor. All of the parcel shelves are in the car. All of the carpets are nice inside. And then just in here, got the locking wheel nut, etc. All lovely and clean in there, look. Everything is uh, checked. We've got a 12 volt socket, extended storage, bit of netting on this side, and then the space to put uh, a few more items underneath there. So like I say, we'll just press that button. So you can do this with the key by pressing and holding the button. Now we'll come into the back door on this side, we're on the driver's side now. Door card again, just having a good look. No damage on there. All the door seals are lovely. And this is an area here, the reason I'm pointing this out is sometimes people trap their seat belts and they can dent this area here or scratch it, but it's all lovely. And also in here, none of the uh, air vents have been damaged or anything like that. It's all in good condition. I can say <laughs> there's little dimples in the leather, but they're really nothing. It's funny what the camera picks up. Okay, so let's have a look in the driver's side. Start with the door card again. The Harman Kardon. Bring you down here so you can see that there's no scuffing. Let's show you down this door edge, because this is another area sometimes the seat belts get jammed and they can tear the vinyl. We've got the electric folding mirrors. They're obviously demissed with the heating as well. We've got memory on the driver's side for the seat. I'll show you the bolster. And the rest of the seat. And then the extended storage comes for this little cubby hole here. We've got our lights, auto wipers. I'm going to jump into the car. Okay. So the first thing I can notice is the iDrive has a, a screen saver basically. So I'll quickly show you how you can adjust things. So if we go into here, come down, we can see displays is in the list. So if we go to, I think it's instrument cluster. No, it might not be. It might be control display. There you go, screen saver. So we can turn that off. We're just gonna hit menu, take us back to the home screen. So turning the wheel, you can select different options. We've got all the media in here, DAB, music collection is the hard drive, I believe it's 80 gig. Your Harman Kardon, you've got a graphic equalizer, you can adjust it if you so wish. 
reset it all, come out of there. Let's just show you around the inside. So you've got your heated seats, free stage, dual climate control. Now if we go into the map, so this is uh, the view looking straight down. Now with these buttons just here, I'm gonna use number seven. When you hover your finger across the top of them, you can memorize different screens, not all of them, but a lot of them. And uh, you can save telephone numbers in there as well. If you come over to the left and move the wheel left and right, it'll give you all the sub menus. Now if we go down to map views, if you like the perspective view, and you don't want to keep going into that um, menu on the left, we now press button number eight. We can assign that to that view. So we'll go back to button seven, and that changes the view. Okay, so we'll just have a look over the glove box and come back to that. We've got all the books in there. Sliding armrest as well. And then we've got the other key and the car. Just take that out of there for a second. We'll pop that down out of the way, the cup holders. Now, if we look up onto the dash here, in fact, because we've got heads up, now let's see if I can get the heads up display. Okay, if I zoom in, you'll see the speed limit display showing 30 miles an hour. If I press the mode button on the steering wheel to the right, I don't think it's gonna pick it up. Let's see if I can change the angle. Okay, you can see as I move the camera around, it goes in and out of sight. So the passenger can't see the heads up display, but you get the idea. That's where you'd see the heads up display, which you can adjust as well for um, different height, different angle, different brightness as well. 20,342 miles. Now using this eco button down here, eco comfort sport, you'll see the options you have there. You'll also, if I can come out of here, it's not showing me on that display, it's obviously turned off. So basically, in eco or comfort, this car will relax the suspension. As soon as we go into sport or sport plus, it will stiffen the suspension and change the steering wheel sensitivity and the ECU for the power delivery. Sport plus turns off part of the traction control. As you see there, and now it goes back on. Now, a lot of the cars, well, all of the cars actually have that button that will adjust that, but you need to have the adaptive suspension for it to actually change the suspension. So we've got lots of other options up here, the communication for your phone, your vehicle check. If we go down here, there's lots of different things we can do in here. Um, but I'm going to just show you the service requirements. We're going to send this one in for an oil change early. It's not due till you'll see February, but that's next month. So although it's got 9,000 miles, we're actually going to do an oil change. That will be done by the local BMW specialist. It will all go into the iDrive. So he'll check everything over. He also does a diagnostic check on the car as well. Whoops, sorry, I've just flipped onto the wrong bit. I'm going to go straight to the top. So previous services, the PDI service was the first one. The next one was the engine and microfilter. And the last one was the brake fluid and a vehicle inspection. And uh, as a matter of course, we're going to actually do another vehicle inspection and an oil change and anything that he suggests. Right, we'll jump out of the vehicle. Two pulls on the bonnet. Now under here, this has all been cleaned by hand. We do use a steam cleaning machine very cautiously around the sides, but most of it is done by hand. You'll see just how clean the engine bay is. And also up around here is it all in lovely condition. Just show you under there, pop that down. Now I'm conscious that the video is getting quite long, so the full amount of spec will be in the advert. 
So cruise control and all the other features that are on the car and in the iDrive. Please give me a call if you've got any questions. It's a stunning looking car. It'll all be ready to go and it'll have a new MOT as well. We've got lots of different warranty options. We're doing click and collect. If you're looking at delivery for home delivery, please call me and we'll see what we can do. Thank you for watching. Take care, be safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.